Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today's video is going to be a little different. Um, you may have noticed I haven't posted in a little while. Uh, it's been a rough bunch of months here, <laughs> and uh, I just have had to try to get myself motivated again more and more. Um, my mother passed away in uh, late January from COVID and we couldn't have a funeral because of the whole COVID thing. And uh, so I scheduled it for recently. Uh, in the interim, uh, a couple weeks ago, my father passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack. Uh, and then two weeks later, we had my mother's funeral that I was finally able to plan and put together. So, uh, there's been some stuff going on. <laughs> so I wanted to do what I usually do when I feel like crap is try to create something, try to make something. And, uh, what I did was I decided I was going to, um, I was going to make my mom's urn. She was cremated as to her wishes. And I decided that I was going to create her urn. So I went ahead and did some work in Fusion 360, looked at some examples, and modeled a urn up that I thought had a really nice look to it. I put her initials on the, on the top of it, and I was really happy with it. It was, it, it's, it was a interesting experience, but I wanted to do this one last thing. I wanted to make something I wanted to express um, and get some feelings out into making this. So I went ahead and printed it out on my uh, Piopoli Phenon L using Sierra Tech resin. Uh, and it came out really, really great. I was quite happy with it. It has a lot of weight to it because I just, I didn't do any kind of hollowing. Everything was solid, uh, except obviously the urn is hollow. Um, and then I went to work on it. I did very minimal sanding because the print came out so well. And then I went ahead and started painting it. So I used a, um, a Krylon uh, sort of black metallic paint for it that had this really nice bronze look to it. Uh, I gave it a couple coats of that just to make sure that it was taken care of. Before that, of course, I gave it some coats of primer. And then I was trying to figure out how to do the rings, so the raised rings I drew, and I decided I was going to try just using a rub and buff. So with a clean cloth, I used a little silver rub and buff and uh, sort of worked around those rings, not making it perfect, but almost so you could still see that black uh, brassy paint through them. And uh, in the end, I was really happy with it. Uh, it, it really looked like something my mom would like. Um, I was happy with how it looked. And more importantly, I was happy that I was able to do one last thing for my mom and make her um, this urn. So we had her funeral um, last weekend. Uh, we finally got to all get together as a family and, and her friends came in and it was masked and it was uh, really, really nice. Um, to remember her and people told stories. Uh, she was uh, a great person, a great mom. I uh, miss her very much and I miss my dad too very much. And um, yeah, so that is the urn I made for my mom. And uh, it was an interesting process. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, take it easy and have a good day.